Hi everyone, welcome to my art class. Today I'm going to teach you how to draw a duck. Male duck. Are you ready? Alright, let's start to draw. Okay, today you will need the oil pastel set and pencil eraser. Okay, and I have this one, it's uh, called, you can see, acrylic painter it's white paint and sometimes we call um, white gel gel marker okay so we are going to use later and if you don't have it that's fine okay all right so first one pencil and let's start with the hat okay so first let's make it a, you know when you do it don't do it too hard pencil line light okay so we start with a curve it's going to be a head a little bit rounded you can do it really light on the bottom and see how big the head you want it to be okay so you see i make it really light and then later on we can erase it without any pencil mark all right next one beak make it long and flat not like chicken all right, a little bit long and then a little bit flat going forward like that. And then here you have to move it in. Okay, move it in. You see flat and long. All right, and then let's do a line. That's the line for the top and bottom. And then you do line so you can see there's one on the top and the other one on the bottom. And then this one is in the nostril on the very top end area, this area. And then you can finalize the line later on. Okay, just have a quick drawing first, okay? All right, eye area not on the side, a little bit up, okay? A little bit up. Not on the side, okay, a little bit up. Okay, sometimes I like to draw the eye a little bit bigger. Okay, and then when you cut it in, and you can make it smaller. Okay, so this one, you are going to have a nice curve. Goes down a little bit, nice curve, like that. So it's going to be part of the neck, okay? And same thing to this one right here. You see, you have uh, the curve line and then you can easily start from here make the neck turn a little bit like that just a little bit not too long okay okay and then next one I want you to because the head is not that rounded here a little bit oval so I want you to draw a line a little bit toward to the front toward to the front okay like that so here you see it toward to the front a little bit okay and tummy part i'm going to make it quite rounded okay so it looks really cute i'm gonna do it quite rounded tummy part okay and then next one it's you know this drawing i want to make it easy everyone can do it it's, you know online is not gonna be that hard at all okay all right so on the bottom here you can see this one is more more like oval shape so let's start with the oval shape like that you see very easy right simple and easy okay oval a little bit like a you know sideways water drop okay and it depends how big you want to be you know make it proportional not like a head big body small or head small body big okay a little bit more proportional okay and then the body part right here you know uh another dark here you know kind of brown so here, this area right here, you can make it a little bit light, goes like that. Here, gonna be a brown area, just kind of map out, 
okay it's not a real line over there it's kind of just like map out all right and then here is going to be the bottom tummy the bottom tummy part okay so you can just go ahead and make a curve and this area is going to be the feather easy right okay so and this one is going to be the tail right here okay so that the detail i'm going to talk a little bit later later okay so for example this one this area is going to be the tummy part okay and then right here there's a, a white area i'd like to make a double line it's kind of dark especially this area they have a, some kind of um pattern like you know typical typical line pattern over there so you have to do it okay you have to do it don't miss do not mix okay because that's his uh uh character okay all right and then here it's going to be a tail okay and a tail for the i'm doing a male male okay so the male right here has a feather and then goes like you know curve up curve up like that all right and it's it's uh because it's more prettier than the female one okay you know why right because they want to attract the female all right so usually usually they are prettier okay so right here that's the feather and this one right here feather is going to be the white area okay so that's the typical typical part you can skip okay you can speak at uh, skip you have to have to do it okay so here here you you're pretty much done okay and i'm going to uh working on the feather part okay so this one is the wing right the wing right here and then there's the wing open there's a beautiful part right here you see this one it's the top more like a top feather uh wing it's the one wing okay but it's going to open little open and then it's going to be little by little little by little so the wing can be open so when it close everything kind of close together so in between here still have a beautiful pattern double line double line double line in between that's the part it's very typical you know the the color they have right here so you have to be careful all right you have to draw it okay you can skip this part all right and the bottom part right here it's all feather wing and feather okay so one up down up down like that all right you can do little by little okay so up down up down until get smaller and smaller so this one it's like a wing closed okay so this part working on a little bit i don't want to confuse you okay so pretty much it's like that okay and double check 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 see if we hear and there some part you don't like it you can always fix it okay so for example you want um, this part more rounded or you want it more curved you can always do that this part i want to move a little bit backwards close this one the feather white i want the double line more close to it okay so like that okay here we go i think we are ready 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 to do it okay the outline it's set okay it's done okay very simple right okay wing wing all right so let's start with the 
I like to start with the beak. Okay, the beak it's yellow. Okay, it's a little bit yellow, and then I like to use the light yellow, and it's a little bit green, light green too. So before I do it, I do it light green, and when I blend it in, I like to use the light sienna. Oh, this one probably yeah, light sienna sometimes. So I have at least three color. All right, first I'm going to just very light green on the top, and then. I'm going to have a sienna, do a little bit shading on the bottom because the bottom, the light come from here and the bottom part, no light. And so the bottom part, I like to shade a little bit. Okay, and you can see the top part, you know, you need to turn. So I do it a little bit that side too. And the other side, this side too. Okay, all right, and then yellow. And you see the green part still come mixed together and you can go start to color in, blend, blend, blend in together. Not too hard, okay? When you do it, you don't need to do it too hard. And the big is done. Very simple, okay? All right. Next one that's working on the, I like to put in a certain order okay next one let's do eye okay the eye i want you to use um i don't want to start with too black so i want you to use with gray and then circle the eye and leave a little bit of reflection in the middle and if you cannot do it the reflection that's fine we use gel pen to make the dot later on, okay and then after that i'd like to use the black and then circle little by little so this black looks really solid you can see right like that okay and on the and right now i can work in on the head okay and before we i color i forgot to tell you this dark dark and uh, have a green head right and then right here, I'm going to, they have a stripe, white stripe right here. So I forgot to do it. So I'm going to use pencil line to map it out. There's a white stripe right here. I want you to draw a little bit bigger, okay? But later on, you can make it smaller. But if you start with the smaller one, and later on, you won't be able to make it white again, okay? So that's why I make it a little bit bigger, okay? So the green part. Green part, you need to have uh, some layer, okay? A little bit layer, 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 layer. So the first layer, I'm thinking about light, medium, dark to make this circle rounded. And I want light tone. And so I start with the white in the middle. It's going to be my base tone, okay? Okay, for the whole thing. Okay, make sure you clean your pastel or your pastel well. Okay, I'm going to quickly just have a white for the base tone. Okay, once I done, I pick the light green. I'm going to have a light tone, okay? So I'm going to color the whole thing in light green. Okay. And then around the eye, I leave a little bit white. Around the eye, you can see. Okay, bring the green together, mix, mix. Okay, and then you see the white around the eyes. I didn't do a uh, pendy over. That's what I liked to make it around the eye a little bit lighter. Okay, okay, be careful. All right, and I have a light green part done. Okay, light tone, and I'm going to bring the medium tone medium tone one step darker okay here light i'm going to show you light medium dark with three tone okay right here light medium dark you can see it right okay so medium tone go in okay medium tone 
goes in. All right, median tone goes in. We are going to blend it in later, so don't worry about it. Median tone goes in. Okay, goes around a little bit more. Light tone, I want the spotlight right here, so light tone a little bit more, okay? I mean, just a little and then median tone more, okay? Median tone goes in. Okay, and then darker tone. This one is darker tone. And darker tone make it a little bit darker outer area. You see it, right? Outer area make it a little bit darker. And then we might need to layer, 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 layer on. Okay, lots of different layering because you know this um, darker tone. It's not darker enough yet. I need more darker later on. Okay, so you can see light medium dark okay darker tone bring it in bring it in the bottom part the light won't go in there so you go in a little bit more underneath close to the neck area darker screen okay you see that Darker screen, darker screen, darker screen. Okay. And uh, I'm going to have a darker blue. This one is darker blue. Okay. I want it even darker. Okay. So I can go any darker. So I need a darker blue to do it over. So it can be even darker. You see, after I put it, so how, so much, much darker. So I, I, I only do a little bit on the outer ring, okay? And a little bit more right here. And a little bit more on the bottom. That's the shading. Shadow, light cannot come go in. And a little bit on the uh, beak, side of the beak. And then I want a little bit under the eye. Under the eye. You see under the eye, okay? Chin a little bit more and a little bit on the neck. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. And then there's a, another green, this one called Oliver Green. You can see I'm going to use Oliver Green to blend it in, but before that, let me clean up a little bit, okay? <sighs> clean the paper. Okay, paper is clean and then use Olive Green and let's start to blend it in. I like to start with the middle part, okay? All right, so when you blend it in light, okay, don't push too hard, light. Blend, 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 circle motion, circle motion. Very light, blend everything together. Blend, blend, blend. Blend, blend, blend. Blend, 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 blend it in together. Blend in together, little by little, okay? Not too hard, okay, please? Because if you do too hard, you are going to take off the um, pigment. You did it before. And always clean up, okay? Don't push too hard when you clean up. Use tissue paper, just Gently wipe it off. Gently wipe it off, okay? All right. Blend, blend the in, blend the in. So you have uh, the head really nice. And then we can always go back to check if you, you know, like it a little bit darker or lighter later on, okay? So let's put it back. Put it back. Okay, I have uh, this one. That, for example, later on you say, oh, I want it a little bit lighter in the middle. And then you put a little bit more light green. And then to blend it out. So this one, the reflection can be brighter. Something like that, okay? 
or I put yellow. You can do that too, okay? All right, that's working on the body part right here. It's going to be brown. So I want to have a three, four brown, different kind of brown right here. I'm going to show you this one. I like cozy and not color. And this one is a little bit darker, a little bit like dirt. And this one is a little bit red. And this one is pretty dark. This four color, okay? Four different kind of brown. Okay, first one, I like the base tone, okay? The base tone, you have to think about what color you like to use. I'm going to use light sienna with, for my base tone. So I'm going to just go ahead and unwinding it. Unwinding it. And then cut it in, cut it in. Remember, leave the white area be in between, okay? And then you are going to color, color, color. This is going to be my base tone, okay? Color, 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 color. My ba base tone, okay? Color, 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 color. Color in, color in. Okay. You can see uh, uh, some of the area a little bit white without doing it, that's fine because um, um, this is, you know, that white area later and we have a different color to blend it in. Or you want to make it more nice and even, it's okay too. So it's up to you, okay? So because the area you didn't color and when you do the second color, it, the color will fill it in. So you, the color will have a more variety. Okay, so this one first layer, I didn't really uh, cover every single area. Okay, all right. And this one is light on the light stuff on here. And then it's going to get darker, darker on the side. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to working on this brown, a little bit reddish brown, do the second layer. Okay, so reddish brown. It's going to be the medium tone. I want to keep the light right in the middle right here, okay? So this one is a medium tone. And on the side, on the bottom, going to be a little bit darker. So on the side, I do a little bit darker. On the bottom, I do a little bit darker. That's my medium tone. So light tone, you see, right there. This one just partial, okay? Partial, I want to light more right here, okay? So medium tone. I have a medium tone ready, and I'm going to have a darkest tone. Okay, darkest tone. Going in. Around the neck. Especially on the both sides of the neck. This side, this side right here, and a little bit round here. So you can have a light, medium, dark. Goes more rounded, okay? And uh, more on the bottom area. You see bottom area right here? A little bit right here. Okay? So this is going to be my darkest tone all right and then once i done i get this color a little bit darker sienna i am going to blend it in everywhere okay so here you can see i'm going to go back and forth back and forth back and forth back and forth start to blend it in Back and forth, back and forth. Start to blend it in, blend, 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 blend it in. Take care a little bit on the other side, okay? And blend, 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 blend in like that. So you see, light, medium, dark. And then later on, if you like, you know, you can always go back to make it a little bit lighter by have a light tone over the top. And then later we can do the um, white, 
because we can uh, emphasize on the um, failure part. Okay, okay, all right, tummy part. Let's put this one back. I'd like to, okay, put it back. Okay, tummy part. Tummy part, this one. I do it little by little and it's easy, okay? So gray and black. All right, and I like to have a little bit this uh, darker sienna color, okay? A little bit because there's so many brown, I want to add a little bit in there too. Okay, so what I'm going to do, uh, even though you see the green, you can add a little bit green, like this green. You can add a little bit green in there, okay? So for the first layer, I'm going to add a little bit green, just very tight, light, 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 light. I just want that color have a little bit greenish. So very light, okay? Very light, very light, super light. Just kind of light touch on the paper. Okay, put it back. And I like the sienna, darker sienna, a little bit like the dirt tone. Okay, very light too, okay? So I'm going to apply a little bit over the top too. Super light, super light, super light. Okay, but on the bottom a little bit, I can make it a little bit darker because of the shading, light, medium, dark. Okay, so I'm just kind of put this color a little bit more on the bottom. Okay, so very light too. Okay, all right, gray. The main color is going to be gray. So I'm going to use the gray color um, to blend it in. Okay, so that's too gray gray color and blend, 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 blend it in. Okay, blend, 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 blend in. Very quick. And you can notice I do it really light. I'm not too serious blending in yet. You see, just kind of doing it a little bit, okay? And the next one, because this part, I need to bring some more lighter tone. This is base tone, okay? I want a little bit lighter tone right here, the tummy area, okay? Focus in the middle right here, the front light, light tone here, all the light, and then goes darker and darker, okay? So light on. I'm going to use white to blend it in first, okay? So yeah, I can have my beautiful gray. Light white. You can see this one after white. Um, start to work in with the gray. It become the pretty gray with a little sienna color, a little bit green color. And then but it stays gray. That's because the base tone you prepare already, right? So you see that this area is much solid, much solid, ready. Okay. All right, second one, we are going to do light, medium, dark. Okay, so for example, the medium tone, I'm going to start using, still using my gray. Okay, I want it light right here, and then turns around a little bit gray. You see, I do a little bit darker gray right here. It's kind of slightly different, okay, but I kind of push a little bit harder. Gray, and then under the wing to this area, all right? And I'm going to bring my black, and the black gonna be really light. It's just a shading. I don't really want it so black. So just on the bottom. Um, there needs the wing a little bit on the bottom. Okay, 
and are really buttoned you can have it a little bit darker so push your line a little bit darker that's fine a little bit and then back rest your area light very light very light okay very light and button darker a little bit more pigment that's fine okay are you ready so in this case i'm going to use the gray to blend it in again okay so blend 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 circle motion this time you can put more power really working on the blend 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 it in okay blend 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 it in blend 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 so the, the black you can start to blend in together goes in a little bit brown brown goes in a little bit to the gray that's okay too okay so start to blend 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 In, blend in, blend in. Okay, same thing to the tail. Blend in. Like that. Okay, so the bottom part, it looks good. Okay, here close to the white, I want it a little bit wider. So I make a little bit lighter. So you gradually, gradually become lighter. Okay, and then we're working on the feather later. Okay, all right. This part it's the easiest part. Okay, easiest part. Black. Okay, and let's make it fill in this tail black. Okay, and because there's no uh, trick. Black so strong, you can really see where the uh, dark, light, medium, dark. Okay, so that's why I say it's easier part, easiest part. And then all you need to do is fill it in. Okay, fill it in, make a nice tail. Nice tail. Curve, curve, you see it? Curve. And cut it in, that's all make it nice okay color in color in that's it okay and then this one the feather we are going to working on the gray later on and here in between two lines it's black right this area color in Color in. Okay. See right there. Color in. Color in. Okay. So when I color in, it still have a little gap. I like to use the darkest blue. And to blend it in, remember when we say um, you do all your pastel, try to do two color mixed together. It looks more solid. And this darker blue will make it look a little bit bluish, bluish uh, black, but still stay in black and more prettier. So that's why I decided to use darker blue right here. Fill it in, okay? Oh, I messed up a little bit here. I should, you know, keep the line right there. Okay, it's okay. Sometimes if you have a, something pointy and you want to clean up, you can do that. Just scratch out, okay? Like a toothpick or, okay, something pointy. You can take off a little bit. All right, and then this one is gray area, light, medium, dark, same thing. So I'm going to use white on my base tone bring a little bit gray a little bit gray just a little bit gray 
shady a little bit not too much okay and then Y over the top one more time okay Y over the top one more time shading okay okay and then clean 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 detail later okay let's finish the wing right here this wing right here i want it a little bit brown for the base okay like this you know brown this brown but a little bit darker so i need to have a little bit this brown okay reddish brown and darkest brown and i want a little bit even darker so i need a blue darkest blue too okay so what i'm going to do i don't want this color same thing i want it just a little bit darker so you can use this one as a base tone okay so you will need to use the darkest brown for the main color okay but before i do it right here same thing i like to have a little bit greenish so i'm going to do this olive green very light everywhere on the wing okay and then i like to have a darker sienna the third color this one a little bit over two okay a little bit over two okay and then i can use the darkest tone right here to put it on okay to put it on the the color but still very light very light so you can see these two color completed it's brown but different brown okay more darker more dark all right and then once you're done get the darker sienna you see this darker sienna right here this one and then let's start to blend, blend, blend in. Blend, blend, blend in. Those colors, okay? Blend in, blend in. Oh, be careful. Leave some white over there, okay? Don't blend it in too fast. Okay, blend it in. Blend it in, blend it in, blend it in. I do it a little bit too fast. I'm missing the white area. So you can use toothpick, take out a little bit, or um, something sharpen to take off, okay? Take off the all your pastel pigment you can do that all right okay so this one is my base tone okay and i'm going to have a darker tone so i'm going to use this red uh, darkest brown for the darker tone light on the top light medium dark okay so medium tone on the bottom okay you see medium tone on the bottom okay and then this one a little bit curve did you see a little bit curve the wing right here a little bit pops out okay so i do a little curve right here and the medium tone right here more focus and on the bottom here Okay, and then a little bit um, close to the side, no lights. Okay, all right, so you have a light tone, medium tone, and I'm going to have a darkest tone. But the darkest tone, I don't have any brown goes darker, so I'm going to use blue. Okay, so blue to put it underneath here. It's really dark. Okay, really dark. Okay, and I'm going to light, medium, dark. 
So close to the bottom part here, I put blue. Okay, this part, I hope you can see it. The camera probably won't show that much, but hopefully you can see it. Okay, good. All right. And so we are going to use the sienna, darker sienna to blend it. Oh, this one is darker sienna, right? I want you to use darker sienna to blend it in. Okay, blend, blend, blend. Blend, blend, blend. Blend it in, blend it in, blend it in. Little by little, okay? Little by little. Blend it in, blend it in, little by little, blend, 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 here and there, here and there, blend, blend, blend. Okay, all right, I think this part is okay, and I'm going to use black because I want it even darker. Okay, I'm going to use a little bit black and do some texture. Okay, the feather have some black, uh, some brown spot. You see, I make some. Uh, let me zoom in. You see some brown, some spot. Okay, and the feather here a little bit dark. Okay, this area a little bit dark. All right, and a little bit on the side. That's the feather part of the feather. Okay, and then on the bottom here, a little bit black. Okay, just a little bit black. I don't want it too much. Okay, a little bit black, just a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, okay? And then we are going to have a darkest brown, blend it in, okay? So darkest brown, blend, 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 you see? Like that, blend, 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 blend. That's the detail part, okay? Okay, blend, 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 all right. Okay, right now this area, it's a little bit harder, okay? Mm, okay, this area I'm going to have working here, okay? This area a little bit harder. It's a little bit, uh, I'm going a little bit dark. I'm going to use the darkest blue and then top with the darkest brown, okay? So you take a look, okay? You need to dip the line in between. So all you need to do is fill it in. I use darkest blue, okay? Fill it in. Color, you see? Fill in the color. But in between the line, I leave a little bit white. I know all your pastel is so hard to do that, right? But you can do it, okay? And same thing, keep going. Leave a little line. Try, okay? All right, and then little line. Like that. You can do it, try, try, try. Like that, okay? And then don't forget about the white area. I think, you know, if you don't have a leave the white area, you can use something sharp, like toothpick, take off that white area. If you forget, forgot the white area, okay? Or you can use gel marker to paint it back later. We can do that, okay? All right, this area I'm going to top with the black. Where's the black? Right here. Okay, I'm going to move this one up a little bit. Okay, so here you can do black over the top. 
you see it okay not the black brown sorry about that brown darkest brown brown because i don't want it to look black i want it to look brown darkest brown over the top darkest brown over the top over the top like that okay zoom out just like that okay all right let's put it back put it back put back the color you are not using it all right i put it back i put it back so almost done okay so clean up clean up your paper a little bit like that okay next one we are going to do a little bit detail, okay? A little bit detail and make it look much, much nicer. For example, I want the reflection. That's working on a reflection. Okay, I want it brighter here. So I use white. Kind of make it a little bit wider and then use your fingers much. Same thing here. I want a reflection right here. I use white and smudge a little bit. You see? Brighter. And then because of the feather right here, I want the feather look. So I very light. You see, I use white, very light to make the line. Okay, let me show you the detail. You see the line right there? I make the line. Okay, very light. Very light. That's how you make the line. Very light, okay? You don't want it too white. You just want to show kind of like a layers and line over there. Easy, okay? Really light. Here and there, here and there. Okay? So here and there. Draw a line. Draw a line. Okay? Draw a line. Some of the line can be a little bit wider and then you can push a little bit harder. Should be fine, okay? A little line. All right. Same thing, okay? To here. All right. A little line. White, okay? Make sure your white is clean. Okay, a little line, a little texture. So you see, like feather. Just a little bit. You don't need to do a lot. Here and there, here and there, okay? A little line. To make a make it a little bit realistic okay and then same thing to here some of the line can be a darker line so you can get a darkest brown and then just do a little bit darker line it can be a lighter line and then also the darker line so mix mix okay mix and some not too much not too much some of it okay some of it not too much some of it okay not too much and then usually i do the darkest line where it has a shade you know shadow and then the area i do like harsh a little bit harsh a little bit darker and it looks nice too okay All right, for this brown spot, I can put more brown along with it, make some textures. Okay, let me put this one away, okay? Make some textures, make some textures. You can push some spot, okay? Push a little bit harder, and then you can draw a line, a little line for the feather here and there. And then same thing, you can use gray. This time you can use gray, okay? Don't use white because this feather not so white. Use gray, do some texture over the top of the wing. You can do it, okay? Over the top of the wing. Show some textures. Show some textures. Okay? Like that, wing, 
make some line highlight a little bit you can do much much more okay much much more okay and then on the top right here I do a little bit more black okay but I blend it in with the darkest brown oh okay <laughs> right here okay just, just kind of clean up a little bit all right and anywhere else okay all right next one i'm going to have a you use pencil okay use pencil all right we are going to do details okay oh forgot to put the nostril right here push in the nostril right here here we go all right and we're going to wrap up use pencil and let's do some details okay first i like to do eyes okay let's clean the eye make use pencil make the eye more precisely rounded okay underneath the eye a little bit pencil line shading a little bit so the eye looks pops out okay it's hard to use um, all your pastel and we can do that okay and then here clean up a little bit okay you can do the beak make it more precisely okay and then the, go turn down a little bit all right and this line too okay my my big the line for the beak the bottom line and little textures okay so clean finish it with a little bit clean up and then here clean up a little bit too underneath okay and the head you can gentle okay don't do it too much do it too much it won't look good just gentle gentle online a little bit gentle 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 okay and then i'm going to use darkest blue darkest blue i think i want it a little bit darker here not dark enough darker more essentially a little bit darker okay create shading part a little bit darker here a little bit darker here line 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 i'm doing line 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 okay and much darker here make it more essential okay all right next one let's clean up here a little bit i think i'm going to use darker screen again clean up a little bit make the line a little more precisely i'm going to use darker brown let me show it to you clean up a little bit more precisely like that okay and then clean up here clean up use pencil line too close do you think it's too close pencil line clean up a little bit and then you can always put some color okay if the edges is not the off a little bit you can always clean with back with your oil pastel okay all right and i keep on clean up a little bit 
a little bit on the bottom. Okay, clean up a little bit here. And then this one, you can just use pencil line to do a little bit line. It doesn't hurt. Okay, clean up a little bit. Clean up a little bit. Just make it a little bit neater, okay? Use your pencil. If you have time, okay? All right, this one is really messy, right? So use your pencil, clean up, clean up, clean up, clean up a little bit, clean up a little bit. Okay, that's all. And then here, clean up a little bit too. Okay, zoom out so that pretty much like that and then if you I'm showing you if your eye you know or some of the part mess up and you you want to fix it you can do that this one is gel pen you put some uh, make sure you shake well before you use it and open it up take some gel you see the white paint close it and then use pencil Tap it a little part on your tip of the pencil and then uh, you can put the dot for the eye to make your eye look brighter, okay? And then same thing to take this one. If you have some part you want to fix it, like here you want it a little bit wider. Tap it in. Tap, 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 tap it in because this one is a typical part for the uh, for the, this dark it's pretty wide okay on those area and if you missed and not necessarily do it all but if only if you missed, okay, like th those part, you put it on a little bit, and then some of the part, a little bit, okay, it just make it a, a little bit nicer. And then the my oh this one too much too much some of some sometimes you don't want to do it too much like this one I think is too much uh, probably I'm going to use the light sienna to mix it back a little bit I don't want it so white it's just a little bit lighter it's not too white I use the light sienna to paint it over a little bit. Turn it over a little bit so you can see the line but not too too much okay okay and like you know the little wing part if you like always you can have a pencil line and do a little bit you know fix a little bit texture here and there here and there otherwise you know this one is done okay so just like that i'm going to show you a different view this this one is finished okay that's the dark we did it for today okay ducky 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 okay all right i hope you enjoy the lesson see you next time all right bye bye everyone bye bye